hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i'm starting the, this vlog off in the car which is this is a stationary muse and i don't know but i've been gone for a little bit i think like two or three actually and i wanted to get a video up i'm gonna also show you guys the unboxing um in this video of the february box i'm feeling so good i finished the boxes today amen um <laughs> it is like anytime i'm working on those i just seriously go mia and i cannot really focus on much of anything else other than like my basic necessities of life and getting the box done like i just can't function yeah so i finally got them done so uh, everybody will have gotten all their shipping notifications and should be getting their boxes over the next couple of days um by the time this video goes up but yeah so it's been an interesting uh little break i think i kind of took a break because i was feeling a little bit unsure of what i was doing with this channel as always i go, go through these um i don't even know these little moments where i'm just kind of unmotivated or just like unsure of myself and different things like that i kind of refer to them as like a slump and sometimes I let it get the best of me and it just kind of stops productivity and all of that stuff. So first of all, I have to give a special, um, not even really a shout out, but just a thank you to Kelly from Print Pray Slay. She actually reached out to me um, earlier this week and just wanted to make sure I was okay because I hadn't been like posting. So I think I was kind of posting pretty regularly for the most part. Um, just to make sure I was okay and all that stuff and I just thought that was so sweet of her and it just really reminded me that you know there are some really nice genuine people out here that you care and I just want to say thank you to her definitely check out her channel guys she has some amazing um, just amazing videos and she is just all about the Word of God and that is something I know that I'm trying to um, bring into my life a lot more and um, she just has such a positive channel so I definitely just wanted to shout her out and say thank you so much for checking on me girl um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and get my life together that is seriously my motto this year just need to get it together so I actually have a lot of really exciting things coming up for March and I cannot wait to talk about them I'm not gonna talk about them in this video but just know there's some good things coming I really am trying to just like up the quality of everything and just offer some amazing things just that are coming from the stationary muse and what I can say is I do have some really nice collections coming out um, just kind of think about some of the major things that are going to be coming up over the next couple of months and that'll kind of get your mind working with what I could possibly be coming out with and I don't know if you guys actually saw I did a show like a little teaser of something that I've been working on I have a little doll doll I, somebody said I said that word word doll d-o-l-l -O. Uh, I have one coming and I've been working on her she's so cute I'm still trying to think of what I want to name her but I think I'm gonna just go with my middle name which is Sierra so uh, she's going to be coming to the shop very soon, probably by the end of March. She'll be in there. I'll probably insert a clip somewhere here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. If you didn't see that little quick, it was like a quick thing. And I think I even asked um, on a poll, like, yes or no, like, do you like it? And everybody seemed to like her. So um, she is going to be coming. I had to put a pause on her uh, just while I was getting everything together. Um, I'm also doing the finishing touches on the March box, just getting that theme finalized and ready to announce on March 1st. Um, a lot of people always ask how to sign up for the box and I know not everybody's gonna see this video, but if you are watching this video and you're ever curious, um, all you have to do is just go to the stationarymuse.com and then you just click on the box. It's literally a button up at the top. If you're on mobile devices, it's just a little menu drop down like that little hamburger icon. You click that and then it will take you right to the box page. And then you have the first through the 17th of every single month to sign up during that period of time and as long as it doesn't sell out or anything like that it will be opened up until the 17th then I close it that night and then it does not reopen again until the first of the following month uh, for the new theme so that's kind of how it works that's how I do it and typically I try to open up about five to ten slots per month um, in the event that it does sell out the previous month before so there's always an opportunity for somebody to 
um, to join and people cancel and just different things like that. So it's always openings. I know people ask that a lot. Um, you know, will there be an opportunity as far as if you miss out on a box? Um, I've been very tight with the amount of stuff that I've been ordering lately, uh, just because the amount has increased and I just don't want to like over order too much. So I do have a very like strict amount of stuff that I buy for the boxes. So with that, um, typically if there are anything left over, it won't be an entire box that you can purchase. It'll just be bits and pieces. So like I know, um, for this February box, a lot of, I did get quite a few messages asking, Oh, is this going to be available? Will I be able to get it? So the entire box is not going to be available. Um, but there will be little small pieces and bits and pieces, like I said. So you'll be able to still get the notebook, um, the little, you totally got this notebook with a little dancing cookie, which is one of my favorite things. And then the sticker kit. And I think I have like two of those little cookie paper clips left. Um, I think that might be about it. So there's just a couple of things. I don't know. There weren't any pins left. Um, there's no totes left. So yeah, just a few items and I will be listing those in the shop this week. This video will probably go up tomorrow, which will be Monday. So um, those items will be listed uh, next week as or well, when you're watching this this week or whenever you watch it, it's listed. So um, yeah, for anything that was left over, but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys and just kind of give an explanation as to uh, where I've been. I am excited to be back and doing videos and everything. I'm actually on my way to the grocery store now. I had to pick up some stuff. Um, I'm probably going to, so actually that's one thing I did want to say. Definitely follow me over on my other channel. It is just Tatiana Muse. Um, it's more of like a lifestyle channel, more my personal life. If you want to see my daughter, my husband, just our everyday lives here in New Mexico. And I do share a lot more, like I said, lifestyle type of content, some beauty, um, I sing on there, like all kinds of different things. So that's something you'll be interested in. Um, definitely follow me over on the Tatiana Muse channel. This is kind of more of like my main channel uh, where I do everything as far as my business. But then I absolutely love just making videos in my free time. So uh, that's what I do over on that channel. But I'll probably talk more about this on that channel. But I have been so dizzy for the last couple of months. And... I'm trying to just figure out exactly what could be causing that. So anyway, I'm going to the grocery store to um, find some things that are going to be cutting out gluten, soy, and dairy. I know that I do have a lactose intolerance, but I still just eat dairy anyway. But I'm really going to try to be mindful of what I eat for the next two weeks. I'm giving it two weeks to, um, oh, by the way, and if you guys saw I was doing Whole30, yeah, that lasted like four days. But um, I do need to try to figure something out because I think what I'm eating is affecting me overall not just IBS but um, the dizziness I'm starting to think it could have something to do with what I'm eat what I'm eating just based off of how it um, the episode the dizzy spells come on so I'm just gonna kind of cut out some of the main culprits that it could be so soy and gluten mainly and I'm gonna really limit uh, dairy as much as possible just because I am lactose intolerant and my IBS is just kind of getting a little bit crazy but that's it. I don't want this whole video to be in the car, but I did want to just come on here and give a little explanation. But um, a little bit later, I will show you guys what is in the February box. Just so if you were interested to see, there is also a full reveal of it on um, both Instagram pages, the Stationary Muse and Live Love Inspired Box. And if you are not following those pages, definitely head over there and follow. I'm posting all kind of inspirational content and I always give tons of sneak peeks for the boxes leading up into that last day that you can sign up so definitely check it out but I'll see you guys a little bit later all right so as promised I wanted to show you guys what is in this month's live love inspire box and I'm so happy because sorry I'm trying to clean up some mess I'm actually reading my office again for the thousandth time and I just added this new little like surface over here so it's pretty messy in here as you guys can see um, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an updated office tour. I should be finishing, hopefully, um, this week everything should finally be set up with the new setup. But I added like another surface in here, so I kind of have like two craft tables technically, but not really. So anyway, let's get into this month's box. And I'm so happy that I finally got my boxes. If you have been subscribed for the last couple of months, um, you'll notice you may have not even gotten one of these till boxes yet. Um, but they are finally back and I'm so happy. So yeah, everybody got this this time. <laughs> but okay, so when you open up the box, 
I actually already have it unpackaged. So when you open up the box, I'll try and insert a clip of what the packaging looks like for you guys to see. Um, but I did actually decide to do the little cookie initial up here instead of on the little ribbon that it's wrapped in. Um, but yeah, everybody got their initial up there. Just kind of like a little die cut you can use. You can make anything out of that. I did mention this on Instagram, but uh, my mom, she is the featured shop for this month. And I think I might even mention it in my last video. But yeah, she was the featured shop. So these are the little cookies that she prepared for everybody. And this is her little logo and website, which is now live. Shameless plug. I actually did her logo and her website. So just saying, y'all. I'm trying to take on more graphic design clients and if that is something you're in need of definitely send me a message I would love to work with you but yeah so everybody got a little cookie we decided to put this little bubble wrap around it so hopefully as you guys receive them um, they'll be intact that'll be amazing and then um, I included the little ingredients just so if there are any allergies people are aware uh, just I want to be mindful of that everyone got a little cookie paper clip these took a really long time to come in, but I'm happy the little cookie portion of it. Um, I'm happy that they finally did make it because I was starting to get worried if I wasn't going to be able to include it in the box, but it worked out. And um, everybody got a mix of different paper clip colors. This is a gold one that I had. These were one of the last ones I made, um, but people also got white paper clips and um, like a light blue color as well. So it matches. And then on the back, it's just a little heart. And then this journaling card is super cute I, this is one of my favorite things that I've made to date it was just so simple and easy you got a little initial embossed on there and then the little cookie is like it's been bitten into and I just love it so much and then this is the back and then we get into the little stickers that came with it and then this is just like a little initial that I put on there so everybody got it based off of their initial again I try to always like I always say I try to add as much personal touch personal elements as possible and so this time around it was just initial I didn't do full names or skin tones or anything but your initial is just all over the place so I love it so yeah we got the little rose gold life is sweet and the little hearts very cute these are just little overlays that you can put over the top of pretty much any um you can put over the top of these stickers are just any stickers really and then this is the little deco sheet just some little cookies and milk that's the theme by the way i don't think i even mentioned that the theme is cookies and milk or milk and i'm sorry the theme is milk and cookies same thing but yeah and y'all i actually got my nails done we went to la last week and they turned out really cute they're already growing out but i was so happy this is the first time i've gotten my nails done i think since my daughter was born so very nice um, okay, and then we have these two larger sheets. So this one just has some different little different little boxes. I love the cookies. Life is sweet. I am happy. Get it, girl. I totally got this. We got some page flags. And then a ton of little functional icons at the bottom. A little Hershey, or the little kisses. And the little hearts. And then this one is a more functional sheet. We got two washi strips. And then email, call, and buy. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually, yeah. Email, call, buy, and work. Then this is a little envelope that came in. You can always reuse it for anything. This is the notebook. I'm obsessed with this notebook. I'm ordering some more of these so that I can have these available in the shop because uh, I got a really good response from these from even just people that didn't sign up. So I want to make sure this is available if you want to get this one. Very cute. I put the little chocolate chips on the back and it just says the stationary news. So I love it so, so much. Um, it's just lined on the inside. This is actually um, one that I have packaged up to go out, so I'm not gonna completely open it up. But if you see my notebooks, it's just a lined notebook on the inside. I'll try to see if I can find a clip or something to insert in there. And then this is the pen. Every box has a pen in it. And this one's no different, of course. But I love this one. It has these cute little speckled markings on there that I love and it's a little gel pen I did do a pen test on Instagram a couple weeks ago just to show you guys but it is a little gel black gel pen so I love this and it's very I love how smooth it feels it's just a really, really nice little pen it's lightweight but very cute and then the last thing is the tote bag so yes you get a full tote bag in there and it is canvas material 
It just says life is sweet. I ironed these on, you guys, and it actually was not too bad. It went on pretty well because sometimes you can have some issues with the iron on, so I'm happy that it worked out. But that is the whole box. Yeah, that is the box, you guys. So I just wanted to show you that really fast. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. If you subscribe, you actually received the box. I would love to hear what you thought about it, how you liked everything. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I thought that it turned out very, very cute, and I was so excited to be able to work with my mom on this one, so... Let me know what you guys think. And if you did subscribe, I would love to hear and see your videos, your pictures and all that stuff. Tag me. I would love to see it. So that's pretty much it. I don't want this video to be too long, but thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, I'm happy to be back. And I'm, like I mentioned, I'm working on my office just trying to get all of that cleaned up. If that is a video you guys want to see, I would love to share it with you. Um, I've definitely moved some things around quite a bit. So uh, it should be very interesting. I'm always moving stuff around. This is I've been like this since I was younger. Let me know if you guys are like this. I used to always move my room around all the time. Um, I just things just get old to me, and I just want to like refresh my space. I don't know what that's about, um, but I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. And once I get started, I'll literally move one thing because this started with me buying these cube shelves, and then I ended up moving my entire office around. I'll buy one item like I bought these. I bought some Ray Dunn stuff maybe like a month or two ago now, but like this little stuff, the candle and yes, I can, yes, you can, this stuff and I ended up moving my whole office around because of it. I redid my whole bookshelf and yeah, so I don't know. I think it's nice to just kind of keep your space fresh, especially if you're constantly creating in it. I think it's a nice way for you to just keep it a place that you want to come to and be in because whenever I redo my office, I feel like I'm in it the most. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Whenever you're watching this, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I put up my next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.